Italian tubular cast on in the round, you're going to start with your needle. So these are a five millimeter needle because I'm going to be working with a six millimeter needle in the remaining of the pattern. So to cast on, I'm just going to use a little bit smaller needle to help that edge look really neat and nice. To know how much yarn you need, there's a little trick to figure that out. You're going to wrap the yarn around about 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that's how much yarn you're going to need for 10 stitches. I'm going to cast on 68. You'll cast on however many you need for your pattern. And so since this is how much I need by for 10 stitches, I'm going to get seven of these for 70 stitches because I only need cast on 68. So that's for 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and 70. So I should have seven strands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's how many or how much yarn I need for 70 stitches to cast on. So this is where my knot needs to be. I always like to get a little bit more just to be safe. Um, and then this is where I'm going to start a couple inches extra. So to start this, um, you do kind of want to have maybe some stitch markers off to the side to help you keep track. If you are a superb counter, feel free to not do this, but I like to, it really helps me. So I place a stitch marker every 10, 15, or 20 stitches. So where I'm gonna start is about right here where I have eyeballed that. I'm going to take a hand and wrap it around both ends of the working yarn, and you want your four, first finger and um, thumb to be in this position there. So this is how we're gonna start. We will take our needle and wrap it through the middle, we're going to start with a knit stitch, so twist that up. So to do that again, and if you need this in slow motion, feel free to slow the playback speed. Put your needle in through the middle, and then flip it up. And that's going to be our first knit stitch. We're casting on a knit one, purl one sequence, and that is our first knit stitch. It's just one little twist. And now we're going to cast on a knit one, purl one sequence. We already did a knit, so let's start with a purl. So. I'll go really slow, but this will get easier. So, lean under your yarn pretty snugly here, and then we take our needle and go under that back loop there, under the back loop, and then over that first loop, and then bring them around. And now we have a purl stitch, and you can tell that because there's a little purl bump there. Now we need a knit stitch, so we're going to do the same thing in the opposite direction, going under that first leg, over that back leg. And now we have a purl, or we have a knit stitch. You can tell because it looks more like a knit. You don't have that bar in front for that purl bump. Now for a purl stitch, under that back leg, over that front leg. Bring those legs around. Now we have a purl. You can tell because of that little purl bump. And do that again for a knit stitch, under the front, over the back. And now we have a purl, or a knit. Under the back, over the front for a purl under the front, over the back, for a knit. And then keep doing that. It'll get smoother as you go. You'll get that kind of figure eight motion. Knit, purl, knit, purl, knit, So now we can kind of pause, take some inventory, make sure that your um, two legs of yarn don't get untwisted. Keep them in the direction that they are lying. Hold them there like that. And then now we're going to pause a little bit and count, see how many we have here. I need 68. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 26. 27, 28, 29, 30. That's about halfway, so I'm going to place a stitch marker there to count for 30, just so I don't have to recount those again. And continue on. A knit, a purl, a knit. Okay, take some inventory again, see how many we have. 1, 2, 
one, two, three, four, five, seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, and place another marker. Now we have eight more stitches to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we have 68 stitches or however many you needed. We are going to work backwards now for our um, setup round and then we will join. You're gonna end on a pearl. We started with a knit, so you should end on a pearl with that little pearl bump in front. And now we need to flip our work, but make sure you don't lose your twist here. So I'm gonna add another twist of these two yarns, twist them just one more time. And then that way, I really am just making sure that this last stitch does not come undone. And then flip the yarn over. So now this was my right needle, it's now my left needle. I want my tail yarn out to the front and I want my working yarn off to the back. And we are going to work this way around and then join. So for the first setup round, now that pearl is a knit. That first, or the last really, that last pearl is now a knit. We're seeing it from this way. And you can tell because you don't have that pearl bump in the front that was in the back. So I'm going to take my right needle here. And the first setup round is a repeat of knitting through the back loop and then slipping with the yarn in front. This first one is going to be a little bit loose and a little bit tricky, so just do it pretty carefully here. Holding that tail maybe in your right hand and then knit through the back loop. and Maybe pull that tail a little tighter there. And that's your first stitch. So we're next going to slip with yarn in front, so bring that yarn to the front and then slip that stitch. Now we knit through the back loop and then slip with yarn in front, knit through the back loop, slip with yarn in front. So you are knitting the knit stitches and slipping the purl stitches. You might have to kind of help your cast on along as you go. Knit through the back loop, slip with yarn in front, and then now we're coming up to a stitch marker, we can get rid of that. Knit through the back loop, slip with yarn in front, knit through the back loop, slip with yarn in front, and then continue this all the way to the end. Now we ended on a purl stitch, which was a slip with yarn in front. We have all of our cast on stitches here. Our first setup row is complete. Um, it might be a little bit bunched up, but now it should stretch um, a little bit more across your needles. So now we're actually going to join in the round. So I'm going to move my um, stitches along to the other end of the needle and make sure they are all straight. Anything twisted. So just make sure that they're all pointing down and pointing in the same direction. Now we just finished on this purl stitch, which was our right needle. It's going to stay our right needle. We're not going to flip our work at all. We're going to join now. So once you have your stitches all situated, they might be a little bunched up like this, but that is totally fine. They just shouldn't be twisted. So I have my working yarn out to the right, my tail yarn out to the left here. So tail yarn in your left needle and your working yarn in your right needle here. To join, you'll Place a stitch marker, whichever kind of, whichever one you want. And then you will take your working yarn, hold it pretty tight. We will join with the first stitch. So the first stitch of our second setup round, which is in the round, not back and forth, we will join it with a slip with yarn in back. So we ended on a slip with yarn in front for that purl stitch. And now we're going to start with a slip with yarn in back to this knit stitch here. So holding the yarn in back and slipping that stitch purlwise. And then we will purl the next stitch. So bringing the yarn into the front and purling that stitch. Now repeating that. Slip with yarn in back to the knit stitch and purl that purl stitch. Slip with yarn in back, 
and purl that purl stitch. If my purls look funny to you, it's because I purl Eastern. Depending on how I'm working, I will switch between purling Eastern and Western, but purl however you normally do. Slip with yarn and back for that knit stitch and purl that purl stitch. So if you normally purl like this, you totally can. Purl that purl stitch, slip with yarn and back, purl that purl stitch. Continue that all the way around. Slip with yarn and back, purl that purl stitch. Our next round is our first of our actual pattern. So this was all the setup. These two rounds here, the cast on and the two setup rounds are just to start the um, Italian tubular cast on. So these rows or rounds do not count as part of your pattern. So if you need a little help to count how many rows you're doing or rounds you're doing, place a stitch marker right on one of those stitches there so that way you know that that's where you should start counting from versus these two little um, stitches down below that because this is part of the cast on and not the pattern. So we get to start now. So the first um, round in this particular pattern is going to still be with these five millimeter needles. The next round after this, I will switch to the larger needles. So slipping my marker and then I start as a normal knit purl um, sequence. So now I'm at the point of my pattern where I've started my first round and for this particular pattern, I switch needles. So you are done with your tubular cast on and you can move on with your pattern. For this one, I'm going to switch my needles and just my left needle for now because the, or just my right needle for now, sorry, because the right needle is actually the needle that determines your, um, your, the size of your stitches. The left needle actually doesn't do anything for that. So a little tip if you want to try it is continue using that smaller needle size, the five millimeter on your left needle, and then the actual needle size that you need to be using on your right needle. And that will help you, um, the stitches will help, it'll help you kind of get these stitches off of this right needle way easier. You won't have to tug and pull, they'll just kind of glide right off because this needle is actually the only one that determines the stitch size. Now you can continue with your pattern. And this first round might be a little snug still because you are still switching your needle sizes. So you're working um, into up to that bigger needle size for this round. And now I have finished my second round of my pattern. Even though it looks a lot more than two rounds, again, that first couple rounds were the setup. So I've only done two rounds for my pattern so far, and I will continue up until I'm done with the collar. And then this, you can cut a little bit shorter if you like, maybe it's about here, and then use that to weave in later on. It gives you a really nice rounded edge here. Some Italian tubular cast-ons will have four setup rounds. So this one was only two, giving you a little bit of a rounded edge, very seamless. It looks just like the stitches just kind of folded right over the edge there. They didn't end in any sort of way. They just continued on. A four setup round, um, tubular Italian cast on will give you an even more rounded edge. Then you can continue on.